Hello guys, welcome back to another Android material design tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to working with toolbar. From Android version 5.0 onwards, the action bar is deprecated. So there is a toolbar is available from Android version 5.0. The toolbar is much flexible than action bar. You can easily customize the toolbar. Also, you can place the toolbar in a separate XML file so that you can easily place the toolbar anywhere on the application user interface. So now we are going to learn about how to make this toolbar and how to add the toolbar into the application UI. So create a new project in Android Studio. So the first thing you have to add a dependency in the Gradle file. So expand the Gradle script. Open up the build.gradle file. Here you need to add a dependency. Here you need to add this line. You have to add the app compact v7 support library. This is for getting support from pre pop devices. So you have to add this. If you use the latest version of Android Studio, this will automatically add it. Okay. So now go back to the the resource folder expand the values folder now we have to check what is the current theme available for this application check the activity main.xml file so here there is an action bar is available so the first thing we have to avoid this default action bar we have to remove this action bar instead of the action bar we are going to add a toolbar or app bar so now go to the style store xml file here is the current theme of this application theme dot app combat dot light dot dark action bar there is an action bar is available so now i am going to remove this action bar light dot no action bar or you can use theme dot app combat dot no action bar so now we remove the action bar Look at the main.xml file. Now the action bar is gone. Now we have to add a toolbar. There is a text view is available in this layout. Make the text into large one. And draw it. Text appearance. make the text as a large one okay now we have to create a toolbar for that we have to add a new xml file you can put the toolbar in a separate xml file so that you can easily place the toolbar anywhere on the application ui so right click the layout folder right click the layout folder and create a new layout resource file and i name it as toolbar dot xml now you have to specify a root element instead of this linear layout here i am going to add a toolbar and you have to select the v7 widget toolbar for getting support from pre lowly pop devices select that one and click ok now here we have a layout that contain a v7 widget toolbar okay now we have to make some changes on the layout of this toolbar here the height is match parent change that one into wrap content okay now we have to apply some material color pattern for this toolbar so use this attribute and throw it background and we have to get the material color pattern from the color resource file so add to color and for the toolbar you have to use the color primary that is one of the android material color pattern use that one color primary okay now we have some color for the toolbar Now we need some shadow at the bottom of the toolbar so we have to add some elevations so we have to add some elevations now okay add some elevation and draw it 
elevation equal to 4 dp. This will, some, this will add some shadow at the bottom of the toolbar. Okay, now here we have a separate XML file and we place a toolbar in that separate XML file. Now we have to add this toolbar into the activity main.xml file. So open up the activity main.xml file. Now there is no action bar available. Now we have to add the toolbar. So here I am going to add the toolbar. For that you have to add an include attribute, include element. First here I am going to specify some ID for this element and throw it ID plus ID. I name it as toolbar. Now we have to specify the layout file for the toolbar. So layout equal to the file is available within the layout resource file and the file name is toolbar. Okay, now here we have a toolbar available on the activity main.xml file. So here there is some space at left, right and top. So we have to avoid this padding. Remove these padding attributes. Okay, now there is a text view is available but now the text view is within the toolbar. So now we have to align the text view below toolbar. So Android layout below plus ID from toolbar. Okay, now the text view is below toolbar. Put some margin at the top. Android layout margin top into 30 dp. Okay, now we add a toolbar into the activity main.xml file. Now go to the main activity.java. Now this class extends app compact activity. Now here create an object of toolbar. Create a variable for toolbar. Select the toolbar from Android support v7 widget. I name it as toolbar. Now we have to initialize that variable toolbar equal to find the view by id r dot id dot toolbar typecast this one into toolbar okay now we have to attach the toolbar as an action bar so you have to call the set support action bar and pass the toolbar variable this will set the toolbar as an action bar okay now we successfully add a toolbar into the activity main.xml file. Now here I am going to run this application on a lollipop device and a pre-lollipop device. Here we have two Genymotion virtual devices. First one is on Android 5.1 and second one is on Android 4.1. Now we are going to test this application on these two platforms. So now I am going to run this application. First here I am going to select Android 4.1. Okay now on Android 4.1 we have a toolbar is available. So now we are going to test this one on Android 5.1. Now I am going to select Android 5.1 virtual device. Okay, now it is working fine on Android 5.0 and lower than 5.0. So I hope you understand the concepts. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.